There won't be any people to hide behind. There won't be any big walls and steeples and pillars to hide behind. You will stand naked before God and he will ask you, what did you do for the least of these, my children? Did you hear Lisa? I don't need one, but I just want to talk. I just want to broadcast. Hey, so I'm just curious what y'all's what y'all's goal. I've seen y'all out here for like several weeks. I've thought about stopping and talking to you, but mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like we're probably on the same page. Uh, you know, I'm totally 100% against abortion. I don't vote for politicians that that uh, that are are for abortion. I would never. That's my number one thing that I base my vote on. And I feel like most of the people at this church are probably the same way. And I'm just curious what y'all's goal is. Why why y'all uh, feel like the like the people at this church are are uh, not on the same page. I mean, we're not standing around with, with placards, which I'm not saying you shouldn't be or anything else, but is that the deal? Is that we're not not doing enough or I'm no, just curious. That's, that, that's not the deal. None of us are doing enough. Well, no, okay. and I agree. I mean... Let me ask you something. All right, you said you, you gave me... I, I'm as pro-life as I can get. This is, you know, I vote. If they were coming to take you away right now, yeah. would you expect it to be a good answer if I said, as they were taking you away, but you know what? I'm voting against that. Well, and, and not, I, I'm not saying that's all I do either. I speak my mind about that issue whenever it's whenever it comes up i don't hide from the issue i, mm -hmm. I speak it and i say hey it's complete selfishness to to uh abortion is just complete selfishness and complete sin and and it's murder i mean it's just flat out murder i mean and i tell everybody it, it, it doesn't matter who i'm talking to if it comes up and I, I might even bring it up. I mean, it's not like I run from it. I mean, I'm pretty open and about it. So, I mean, you know what I mean? And, and so here's here's the thing. And I've thought about this because I've seen y'all out here for weeks and I've thought about this. And I mean, you know, I've thought about this often. Not, not since y'all been here, but just often over time, you know, you hear about somebody like bombing an abortion clinic. And That's I've wrong. Talk, I've talked, That's wrong. Okay, but I've talked to my wife about this, and I've said, I've said, well, we're going to say it's wrong, but if it's really murder, and if they're killing children, is it wrong to kill that man that's doing that? Is see, it really wrong? See, the, I'm just saying. Right, I understand I'm just saying, what you're saying. See, I could say that y'all aren't doing enough because maybe you should be killing the abortionist, you know? You know what I'm saying? It's a matter of opinion. You right. know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, actually, it's not a matter of opinion. It's a matter of what God's word says. Does God's word say that we should do good, uh, evil so that good may come about? No, but he can achieve, you know. Right, but... Does, no, no, I agree, I agree. I agree. So does he say I, we should sin? I'm just sin? being extreme. I'm just right. being well, extreme. Well, let me explain to you a couple of things. See, we're not pro-life. I'm pro -life. not saying that that's what I believe. We're not pro-life, okay? Okay. See, and you, you didn't even want to take... You just assume we're on the same page. We're not on the same page. Right, we're not on the same explain team. It. Explain okay. It. Let me let me give you this. You okay. can take that. You can read that. All right. But we are not pro-life. Pro-life treats abortion kind of like what you're talking about. I vote against it. I speak against it whenever right. I can. All right. I donate money to the CPC. It's really bad. It's murder. As we regulate it. That's what pro-life is. Pro-life treats it as health care and regulates it. We are abolitionists. Did you know? You go to the church? Yeah. Okay. Did you know that in February a bill was brought oh, yeah, for I know. I'm HB 948? Yeah. Okay. Did you know your... It you're... pisses me off, too. Right. All right. A bill that was brought forth to make abortion illegal Just and uh, treat it as it is. Weeks, right? Oh, you're talking about something else. See, you didn't even know. So okay. you, 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 you went for the... the the pro-life bill all right in, in back in february representative tony tenderhall put forth hb 948 
make abortion totally illegal here in Texas. Prosecuted as murder, treated as it is. Yeah. No regulations, no uh, this heartbeat or anything like that. Right. And all the Christians backed away from it, including oh. your pastor. No. Yeah. Well, who, how, how do you get that? Your pastor. He doesn't vote in the Senate or. No, he leads Congress. the prayer caucus of the legislature. No. Yes, he does. Well, I know one thing. He would not have backed away from that. Dude, Texas right to life. Good thing, right? Well, I don't know. I mean, what? They backed away from it. All the right to life. All the pro-lifers. We had a rally in down in Austin to support the five or six legislatures leaders that were putting forth this bill. Less than a thousand people showed up in a state with over thirty thousand churches, and everybody, including you, I've spoken to out here. Nobody even heard of the bill. Now, your pastor leads the prayer legislative caucus down in Austin. How is it nobody in your church even heard of that bill? Yeah. Okay? We're abolitionists. We are not pro-life. Okay? And to treat it as anything than what it is is wrong. See, now you, you said you, you went with the line, which is a very pro-life line. You know, well, you know, if you blow up this place, then it'll stop it here. Yeah, it'll stop it here. But what'll happen is that place won't be in business. But all the people that were going to kill their child there would just split up and go to these places. That doesn't solve anything. Well, but, but, I mean, if I wanted to be extreme, I could say that if, if enough of the abortionists were killed, they might not think it was worth the money that they're going to earn from that to keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can make that argument. I mean, if you're really an abolitionist and you really think it's murder, maybe that's what it should be done. It, actually, you can't. Well, first off, that goes against God's word. Okay, you're right. All right. You're right. Because we're not to do evil that good may come yeah. about. Right. All right. And second off, it doesn't. All it does is it drives for that. So you, you, you now you want to intimidate all the abortionists. All right. So all it does is you'll still have people that are willing to kill people for money right. and it'll just make those people make a lot more money than those people yeah. okay it's not and th and this is the difference between pro-life and abolition it isn't a well if we do this then it'll stop and we do this this is a sin issue right now we live in a state a pro-life christian state where it is legal to murder over 60,000 babies a year, yep. where we celebrate, oh, we're not gonna murder children over 20 weeks, unless they have these exceptions. Did you know? Nobody's celebrating that. No, actually, no they child, are. No child, no child. Actually, they are. Well, no, there, there's, there's people that celebrate that. Yeah. <laughs> there's lots of them. Yeah, they're called pro-lifers. Those are the ones who support those bills. Now, well, look, you know, you got to you got to be honest with yourself. I mean, just because they support that bill doesn't mean that they're in any way, shape, form, or fashion in favor of abortion. I actually, mean, if you, if actually, you can stop if you, any one abortion, that's a good thing. If you could stop abortion at 20 weeks, you could stop it at zero weeks. Well, that's the truth. Well, okay. the only thing is we don't want to. That's the uh, truth. See, I, I don't think that's true. I, th uh, I think there's lots of people that want to, but you can't just they get had your the way. They had the chance. You can't. And they backed away. No. And in fact, it was the right to life who killed that bill. I don't know. I mean, I do know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, but, not, but, but you're so so you're saying that the right to life is in favor of abortion. In some cases. No. That, I actually have a true. letter from Texas right to life saying we don't support that we support it being done in increments and we support it in but they have, a, but in, they have in, a reason in, for that not, not because they're in favor of abortion what's the it's, reason if it, you could stop it now why would you be doing it in increments because they can't stop it now sure you can no because you know good and well if they had to pass that law the supreme court would overrule the it. law had written in it that if the supreme court even tries to fight this the state of texas will defy them but but it doesn't do look it. at Colorado. Look at Washington. What about them? You talking about marijuana? I mean Yeah. Well th the thing is is 
See, we it's we will fight illegal. the federal. Not in, is still illegal. Not in. It's just that they're not going to ever find a jury that would convict somebody of the federal laws because there'll be enough people on the jury to, to hang the jury. I mean, that's why. Let me federal, ask you this: when when Pharaoh spoke to Moses, Moses said, "Let my people go." And Pharaoh said, okay, I, I tell you what, you can go, but leave the children and the women here and the livestock. Did Moses say, awesome, it, it's a step, it's a step. We can't get it all right now, it's a step. It's an increment, but you know, we're really against leaving them here, but it's a step, it's a step in the right direction, and then went. Is that, is that the way it went? No. Oh, you know how it went. Yeah. He stayed and he stood on the word of God. Right. And nowhere in the word of God does it say, hey, let's bargain with death. No. See, the problem is, and I hate to tell you this, but it's the truth. Christians are ageists. If they were pass the law tomorrow saying all the children in children's ministry at churches have to report to this place to be exterminated oh, let's let's even do something realistic let's do something that actually happened a mayor was elected in Houston a homosexual she didn't like the pastors were speaking against homosexuality right. so she passed a law right. that said all the pastors have to submit their sermons to be approved by me did the church go Okay, well, that's the law. No. No. What did they do? All the churches in the state rose up and went to the governor and had that law put down. But that's for something that is important, like a sermon yeah, on homosexuality. You're, you're, you, I mean, a lot of well, everything you're saying has, has some truth to it, but it's not... Some truth? Tell me where no, I'm no, not no, truth. You're, you're, but you're saying true, but... It can't work the way you're. If we, Why? if Texas had passed that law, it mm -hmm. would have been like wiped off the books by the federal government. Federal and government, the state could do about sure it. Sure, there is. No, the I mean, state is sovereign. No, the not. state is sovereign. You know good and well that's not true. All right, and it was written in the law that we will defy the federal government. That doesn't matter what they write in a law. If sure, the federal it is. Government says that the federal government not, would have to come in here armed. Well. You know, that, that's not going to happen. I mean, you're you right. That's well, not going to happen. You know, getting well that there, who, there's only probably one politician who presented that that was going to, that was going to be in favor of it. I mean, it, actually, it had quite a few but it, co legislators signing it. Nobody, nobody, that, that was never going to happen, man. That's I because mean, they don't want it to. No. It, no. It's amazing. But, you're but standing you're saying, here saying, so, you know, you, I really want this to happen, but it can't happen. Who's not placing their faith in God now? Hey, but but you're you're well, okay, all right. But you but you're you're I mean, you're making it almost like I really like I know you're not attacking me, but but it's all since I'm pro life or whatever, I'm I'm probably abolitionist. I mean, I'm totally against it. Actually, 100%. you're not, because you're actually sitting here arguing that there's no way in the world this can happen. No, no, no. That increments are good. No, increments are not good. They're just maybe a necessary evil. I mean, do you know the 20 week? All right, 20 week pro life celebrated that. Do you know how many babies that saves? Well, I don't know a few. Probably. Do you know 98.7? percent of the abortions are done before 20 weeks yeah that makes okay sense. and did you know that that 20-week ban also has a rape clause a uh i don't agree with any of that but i mean you know so it saved nobody but it makes the pro-lifers look good and it brings in money well it kind of maybe they think it kind of starts to shape the debate a little different after 44 so years we're gonna now we'll, we'll start shaping well, the debate look there's not really anything you can do about sure it. sure there is i mean unless you can get minds to change you know I first mean, off the supreme court doesn't make a law did you know okay another fact did you know that abortion is already illegal the only it's already classified as murder in texas murder codes the only thing that makes it allowed is the pro-life laws passed to say if you do this and this and this 
then you can murder your baby. And if you do this and this and this, then you can murder your baby. If you do it before 20 weeks, then you can murder your baby. If you do it when you get a sonogram, if you wait to three days. So why is Roe v. Wade not the law of the land then? Supreme Court can't make the law. Well, I mean, it, it is effectively the law of the That's land. because everybody is sitting there saying, oh, Supreme Court rule. Supreme Court does not make law. So you're saying that that Texas should should enforce, should pass and enforce that law, and then if the federal government comes in, whatever they do, they just do. I mean, we all go to jail, whatever. No, whatever we don't all just do what it, That's why it's written in the law, that we will defy the federal government. I know, but... Just like when they wanted to say, well, you know, you should have slaves. And when the National Guard comes in and... That's what you have a Texas National Guard for. You think that they're going to do that? Do you yeah, think the United absolutely. States would wage war on a state? Yeah. Well. Because and and, and, and do other, you think the other that thing is is how many people in the state are going to be behind, you know, waging the war? Or See, that's the thing, and I was just going to bring that up. It says it's basically, you know, <laughs> do you believe the word of God or not? Yeah. Did Moses say, you know, you know, if we don't take this deal, Pharaoh's gonna like really raise, he's gonna, we took the straw away, now he's gonna take this away. Is that what Moses did? Yeah. Did Moses say, well, you know, most of the Jews aren't gonna back me up on this. And most of them didn't, in fact, they all screamed. What do you mean make brick without straw? But did he waver? Well, you see, we are to obey, obey God, not man. We are to please God, not man. We are to serve God, not man. And you leave the rest up to God. Yeah. That's what faith is all about. You know? That's what, that's what it's, you know. And that's what it comes down to. You see, and, and until, you know, I used to be the same way. I used to be on staff at a church, okay? I used to be the same way until God opened my eyes and I realized <laughs> these are people. Oh, that they're absolutely. playing with, yes. that they're bargaining with. These are image bearers of God. Yep. That we're actually having these conversations on. Well, then are, you know we don't want it, but you know then you could do it. Yeah. Well, I'm not having that conversation. Okay, but this is what's going on now. This is the pro-life world you live in. Yeah, but the pro-life until... people are not in any way, shape, form, or fashion for abortion. Well, yeah. I mean, you... <laughs> they just have a different opinion of how to fight the battle than you do. Yeah, they've been fighting it for 44 years. And, and maybe they're not, you know, acting on faith like you are, you know. And in 44 years, yeah, the abortion numbers have come down. Let me explain that one to you. Well, I don't know if they have okay. or not. Well, that's what they say, all right? But as the abortion numbers came down, the... See, the, and when you go to an abortion clinic, you ever been to an abortion clinic? No. Okay. When, when you go to an abortion clinic, they kill the baby one of two ways. Either they surgically dismember the baby yep. and remove him, or they give you a pill, RU486, that poisons the baby, and then yep. you expel the baby. As RU486 has gotten more popular, well, we don't count those numbers. Oh, yeah. We only count the ones that are surgically killed. Yeah. And the states that do the most killing, California, New York, Florida, they don't report those numbers at all because it's voluntary to report those numbers. So as the numbers are going down, they're not going down, they're actually going up. Now you can go to Walmart, you can go to Walmart, you can go to Walgreens, you can go to CVS, $49.95, you can kill your baby. And we're winning the war? No, I mean, hey, you're not surprising me. Well, you know, this is what happens when you treat the murder of God's image bearers as something other than it is. If it was pastors they were killing, the church would be in an uproar. This is in, and this is in Christian pro-life Texas. We're not even talking about yeah, exactly. New York and Florida yeah. and California where liberal craziness is. Yeah. This is in Christian pro-life Texas where you could throw a rock and hit a church no matter where you're standing. Yeah. And do you know that your church trespassed my friend today because he walked across the street but he walked across a little bit past it. That guy right there called the police and had him trespassed. 
all right and they threatened to tow our cars yeah i don't even think they should be standing out here doing that. Yeah, well that's what they're called I think to do. it looks, looks bad that's what they're called to do that's what they're commanded to see this is this no, is I, where I, I disagree with that this is and where I, and i know but i disagree with this this that. is where christianity is when did what truthfully what would you think Christ's reaction would be to the Christian church today? Truthfully. I'm not sure. Well. I mean, obviously, none of us are uh, worthy, so. That's not the point. No, it there's is a, the there's point. There's a difference between, no, because none of us are worthy. That's why he came. Right. So all of us can be made righteous if we repent and place our faith and trust in him. Exactly, but. Right. But, but now there's a big difference if you read what he did when they made his place a place of merchers, merchandise. Okay, you can re read what he did about that. Well, you can read in Matthew 23. In fact, I'll be teaching because we do, we do home church. I'll be teaching on that in two more weeks. Tonight I'm doing 20, three more weeks. Um, it says right there. Especially the end, the end of Matthew 23. It's like, whoa, whoa, how could people actually do the things they're doing and say they're following and listening and hearing what he's saying? Because he's speaking today. Most people think, well, he's speaking back then. He's speaking to those Pharisees, those Pharisees, bad guys, bad guys. I'm telling you, your pastor who leads the prayer caucus for the entire legislature of Texas and nobody in his church even knew about HB 948. You should ask your pastor why. Well, you really should. He's not a politician. I didn't ask sure. you that. And, you would think that a pastor who leads... I can, I can leads... tell you this. I can tell you this. If you think that he's not preaching the truth... Oh, I didn't say he was not yeah, preaching the that, truth. That's the, that's a that was fact. the one thing I haven't said yeah. at all, is that he's not preaching the truth. Yeah. You all just right? don't think he's doing enough to stand up to... I, like I said... If you really, first off, do you, are you even able to speak with your pastor? I mean, I know him, yeah. I mean, I could. Yeah. But I probably, probably. Ask him. How is it that this guy who leads the prayer caucus over all the legislators that are in the prayer caucus, they you know, of course, you know, the crazy. But that doesn't mean there. that he's down there getting involved in knowing what legislation's going on. If there was a bill brought forth that made abortion totally illegal in the state of Texas, you don't think that the pastor who leads the legislators in prayer think, would know about it? I think it? the churches should be aware of that and should support sending people there to support it. Yes, I do agree with you there. Yeah. I agree that that should definitely happen. On the other hand, I don't necessarily believe that the passing of that law would have necessarily done what you think it would. Sure, it would have. You know, that's the only. It thing. would have forced the issue. Well, and, and to tell you the truth, we have 13 more states that are doing the same thing right now. And in fact, we actually Good. have an abolitionist running for governor in Oklahoma Good. right now. Good. Have you even heard of him? Uh -uh. I mean, I don't know anything about yeah. Oklahoma politics. Dan Fisher. He's an abolitionist. And he will, from because the governor has that power. From day one, in this state, this is illegal. Well, he can't make it illegal, but he can shut down any kind of government spending to it. For no, no. Sure. He can make it illegal. Well, he can't make it law. All he no, can do is the legislator, law. right. And he can refuse to sign anything. And he could tell the legislator. Did you know that the Republican, I assume you're a Republican? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't even like calling myself that because I'm probably right of them. But good, good deal. <laughs> we went and we lobbied the Republican Party last year at their convention, and they made as the number one legislative priority of the Republican Party that abortion be made totally illegal, abolished. That was two years ago, and the Republican Party even backing out of that. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of things they back out of all the time. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, you know, yeah. 
So I would really, Thank you know, you. we're going to be here next week. We weren't actually, we were actually going to leave after this week. Yeah. We were going to go to another church we have on the schedule. But since that guy got him trespassed. So okay. what, you got a ticket? Well, no, you got a warning first. Oh, okay. okay. And they were going to have our to cars towed from the gas station. We'll be back here next week. <laughs> and, you know, we're, we're hoping to bring well, a few you know more people. What, I welcome you to be here. I don't care. I was just wanting to get your, your van. I really. Because I've been really curious. You know? Take that one, too. Yeah. And I, I'd love to, after you read that stuff, you, you come talk to me. In fact, you can find us on Facebook. Are you on Facebook? Yeah. Abolitionist Society of Little Elm. Yeah. I'd love to continue. My name's Matt, by the way. I'm Stan. Stan? Yeah. And I thank you. Yeah. You're the only person. He has somebody speaking to him. You're the only person that came out and speak. Yeah, well, Everybody right. else. In fact, I actually had like a bunch of people going like this. No. Yeah. yeah. See, I saw, I mean, I saw the one guy drive by while I go waving. You know? He wasn't waving at me. He was just yeah, well, trying that's, to be friendly. You know? that's, but, that's, that's the Christian response. Yeah. I stand... I haven't stood out lately at the clinics. I'm doing all the other things. But I, I used to stand out every day at the clinics. And that's the Christian response. They wave. What do you get? What do you honk? And they say, we're on your team. If uh, my team was the Dallas Cowboys, my team would be pretty thin. Yeah. Compared to all those who think they're on the team. Yeah. Well... But I really appreciate I'm you coming sort of out. I'm on your team. I mean, I know you don't think so, but well, and, I'm, you know, and I'm 100 percent against abortion of any kind. I don't care if it's rape, incest, or whatever, because those children are children of God. They didn't do anything. Right, but, and yeah. that's a good moral opinion. Yeah. That's the typical pro-life thing. It's a good moral opinion, and you do know he's here watching to protect you. Oh well, whatever. That's he, right. Okay. He protecting me, but whatever. Right, but that's what he's there for. But. That is the pro-life good moral opinion. And lots of people have a good moral opinion. In fact, in Germany, I'm sure there were lots of people during Nazi Germany who said, you know, really shouldn't kill those Jews. So I'm yeah. against that. Yeah. One spoke up and he got strung up. Yeah. Okay. The rest went with the program. I'm sure there was more than that that spoke up and they probably went in there with them. But yeah. I ask people, what does your Christianity look like in a culture that murders, in Texas, 60,000 a year, in the United States, over a million a year? Well, in a nutshell, I would say this is what it looks like, okay? And you can, like, agree with it or not agree with it or whatever. But let's say I'm at work, and I work with non-Christians all day, every day, mm -hmm. and this kind of subject comes up. I'll use that to speak the gospel to them. Excellent. Because if they're in favor of abortion, you know, generally they're not Christians. And until you change that person's heart, you're not going to change anything. You know, I mean, it, it's to me, it's as simple as that. You know, I mean, you you can like change that person's heart and then maybe they'll go out and speak it to somebody else and maybe somebody that's planning on getting an abortion won't go do that you know mm -hmm. i mean and you know this church right here has a battered women's battered women's shelter they support the you yeah, see battered women that's illegal but I, i'm just saying they support the uh the uh the crisis what, pregnancy right, center all of that i mean you sure. know so it's like See, you, but and the goal of the crisis pregnancy center is to is to get them in there so that they'll get their sonogram or whatever and see that baby and not go to that abortion clinic. You know, so right. so it's like one heart at a time. You know, I mean, right. But and see, if all all it takes is like wanting to know. All right, if you wanted to know the truth about a CPC. It's very easy to find out. The majority, the vast majority of the women that go to CPCs aren't abortion bound. They're women looking for help. Yeah. And that's good. Yeah. That's what a CPC is for. But there's a lot of them that... You'd be surprised. You know, like I, I said, I've been in this ministry now full time for a while. Yeah. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised how many people in here are actually pro-choice. Well, you know, there are some. I mean, there's in a big crowd I mean, of people. There's you'd a lot be of, surprised. Yeah. No, I get it. I know. 
Okay. I know. You'd be surprised I, how many my people. My used to be pro-choice. You'd be surprised how many people in the church in here right now, maybe pro-life, uh, except before twenty, you know, after twenty weeks, you know, they're pro-life then. Before twenty weeks, we, you know, that's that should be the cutoff. I, I would say the and majority would be not in favor of that. Like no, I said, I be you'd be I, surprised. I would be shocked. I'll put it that uh, it, and it's sad. It the really is. The majority of the people, no, I mean, I, I don't know how many of the majority of the people in here are actually Christians. I mean, who knows? I mean, and that, there you go. I mean, yeah. you don't know. Only God knows. And man. that's why when I'm out here, I mean, I've been out here preaching for like an hour before you got up and then about an hour down there. That's why I was preaching. I was preaching to the cops who gave him a ticket, yeah. preaching them the gospel. Because all they are is the guards at the Nazi security. Yeah. All they are the temple guards. Tommy Nelson calls them, or his underling calls them. They come and do Tommy's bidding, because you know how much this place brings in. Well, Tommy, Tommy doesn't tell them to come out here. They're doing this on their own. So, I mean, yeah, hey, I, I'll put it this way. This place brings in enough to where all that stuff's paid for. Never once have I ever heard him preach a sermon on giving, tithing, any of that, never. And I've been going there since like the 90s. Mm -hmm. And never once has he ever done that. They don't pass the plate. There's just a box on the wall back there. Don't do it, you know? Because, you know, hey, if we're gonna have faith, we're just gonna preach the word and let God deal with all that, mm -hmm. you know? And he deals with it. And 40% of this budget goes out in missions all over the world. So, I mean, it's a live, healthy church. I mean, it's not, it's not some church that's just bringing in dollars and, and flaunting, meanwhile, flaunting, you know. And meanwhile, over sixty thousand are murdered every I, year. I get it, but I mean, and that's just the ones we count. I get it. And it's getting worse and proliferating. And and, and if your if your philosophy is correct, I'm not saying it's not, but if it's correct, you know. They just don't get it yet. We just don't get it yet. And, and that's what I mean, I'll, I'll, that's I'll why guarantee you, that's why I'm here. Yeah. Um, you know, Christ tells us we are to be salt. We are to be light. Salt is supposed to preserve. Yeah. It is not supposed to stay hidden. Yeah. The light is supposed to shine even into the darkness. And that's what I was actually, one of the things I was preaching before. I was like, you know, he's the light. He's going to shine. it. He's going to expose yeah. All the little pet sins, the things that you keep for yourself. Right. It's the light. That's what the light does. But if a light stays hidden, what good is the light? Yeah, exactly. Well, hey, I am fixing to go tell them guys, look, these aren't crazy people. Y'all need to, like, leave them alone. Let them stand out there on that sidewalk and do whatever they want to do. And quit acting like the Gestapo. Yeah, do you know that the public easement, because that's what we're on. We're on a public easement. Right. Public easement for this property. Sure, it goes up. Well, it goes all the way up. On this side only. On this side only, not this side. Yeah. But this piece right here, from that walkway, from the from the parking lot to the street, that's all public easement. If I wanted to, I could walk that. You know how much trouble that would start. Do you know that there's four police cars sitting over there, just watching? Yeah. They well, the cops are always here, but they just come out now. They're usually in there, and there are a couple in there, you know. But, I mean, that's more to prevent, like, somebody coming in and shooting up the place. But uh, but then now they've they've gotten together and talked about, like, hey, we need to go watch that. I don't agree with them. What was your name again? Matt. Matt. Stan, it was Stan, wonderful yeah. to speak with yeah, you, yeah, and you thank you for coming over to speak. Yeah, because man, that's I mean, what the Bible says. Come, let's talk. Yeah. Let's reason together. Yeah. You know, and I really... Well, it, I've been meaning to come talk to y'all since I first saw you over here. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know, one reason or another I didn't. And so today I was like, man, I got to go talk to this guy. So, well, read anyway. that stuff. And, and believe me, I'm, we're open to correction. If you find something that's not biblical, and nobody has. Um, but I, I, I really, I would appreciate you reading that and yeah. talking to me about it. No, it was nice talking to you. It's nice See talking you. to you. God bless you. You, you have too. a good day. You too. See you, man.